We're working on relocating freshwater mussels that reside in the Lower Grass River in Messina, New York. Are you all ready? We're doing that because there's an upcoming remedy to address PCB contamination. We're going to have dredging and then backfilling of contaminated nearshore sediments. We're also going to have capping that's going to be placed in the main channel of this site. And so both of those are going to be a problem for freshwater mussels. Freshwater mussels are bivalves that live in the sediment. They're part of the fauna that make up the benthic life in the Lower Grass River. When we find them at these sites, they're in the mud, at least this deep. So this is the part that's exposed. They're key to nutrient cycling and is reestablishing the health of the, the sediment. So as an animal that's filtering those particles right there at the sediment, um, they do accumulate toxins such as PCBs and can into their tissues. PCB is a chemical that does not dissolve much in water. It will dissolve in water, but not very much. It will evaporate in air, but not very much. So it's not very volatile and not very soluble. So what happens in a river environment such as this one, it would tend to accumulate in the sediment on the river bottom. So where you have a lot of dead vegetation, high organic content like a river bottom, it would tend to accumulate there. It was important that Fish and Wildlife went forward to quantify, identify the extent to which they were important, and then to take whatever actions are necessary to make it so that after their meadow pro project, we can start to reestablish the existing benthic habitat and the mussel population that's there. We have divers go down and collect uh, the mussels. They go down with the mesh bags, bring them up to the boat where we then process them. So we identify the species that we have, we count them, and then we decide you know, where, where we're going to place them next. A dive tender is someone who's going to be specifically watching the divers that are collecting the freshwater mussels and watching for the bubbles, making sure there's no risks. And I actually was tasked with specifically designing cages to hold mussels in the Grass River. We don't exactly know how many species of freshwater mussels are here in this project area, but we know there's at least 10. Rather than just scattering them about, we're going to take these mussels and place them in founder colonies. We're hoping for at least 50 mussels of each species in each founder colony, and that way you'll have enough males and females and they'll be close enough together that hopefully they'll be viable in terms of reproduction and continuing on into the future. There's so many people that have never really thought about what's a mussel, that they're there, and why they're important to the ecosystem. The Department of Environmental Conservation is the lead on this project, and they've invited other organizations to join them. And as a scientist with the New York State Museum, which is part of the State Education Department, um, this is very important for our research and uh, knowing the diversity and presence of mussels in New York State. The nice thing about this project is that we have fantastic collaborators. We're working with the St. Regis Mohawk Tribe Environment Division. They've been fantastic collaborators. They, they assist us with the diving. Um, and they also have a lot of local knowledge and that's been really helpful. For a remediation site, holding mussels in cages so that you can maintain those local genetics and put them back after the remedy. Um, is not something that has, has really been done before to my knowledge. And so that's exciting for me that we actually get to work directly with the organisms we're trying to protect and do something about protecting them.